so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, maybe, maybe. right? Uh, so we're tabulating the scores a little bit. Like I said before, this turned into a, a little more of a free-form open concept as far as the course was concerned. <laughs> uh, next year, I think we're going to forego trying to mark paint lines and, and do something else. But everyone had fun. A couple of people got turned around, which we were expecting anyway. And listen, that's the reality of, uh, that's the reality of the chaos that uh, these guys have to work through pretty much each and every day. Okay? Uh, so once we got the scores tabulated, we will announce the winner and uh, we'll have a quick uh, award ceremony for the trophy. We do have some swag left over. We've got some challenge coins that turned out very nice. Um, and we've got some t-shirts as well. Uh, we're not selling them per se, but if uh, anyone would like to give a suggested donation into the scholarship fund, uh, we're asking for maybe $10 for a coin, 15 for a shirt. Um, Chief Nieder, are you here? He is here. Look at that, perfect timing. So uh, I know that he want to make just a couple comments on uh, behalf of uh, Chiefs and Captains Association and uh, Jeff's uh, family would like to say just a couple of words as well. Again, on behalf of the uh, Kenosha County EMS system here um, and uh, our partner, Frederick South Pleasant Prairie Hospital, uh, we really are so happy that everybody came out. This is our first kind of foray into doing any sort of like fundraising or charity kind of a stuff, but you know, for uh, for Jeff personally, um, I think it's it's one of the better things that we could do to uh, honor his memory. He's a, a amazing uh, colleague and a mentor to a lot of us. So uh, we're going to continue to do this year to year. We will continue to find other sponsors and, and other causes to, to support as well. But uh, it all starts here. So I can just reiterate my my one ground rule now that I know no one's hurt. Um, one more time, it's just if there's somebody here that you don't know, you don't recognize, please just introduce yourself to them, put a face to a name, you know, find out what agency they're at. That is really um, my, my major motivation for doing this is just uh, another opportunity for people to get away out of work when we're too distracted by, you know, moving meat or doing whatever kind of uh, things you got to do. And we get a chance to just sort of unwind a little bit and build these relationships. Um, I know that Chief Dieter will probably allude to it a little bit. And uh, obviously Jeff was, was uh, the, the linchpin in this whole process, particularly during our riots in 2020, taking command of that scene and standing up that unified command with Chief Dieter and uh, you know, our other fire chiefs. Um, that, that kind of solution to that sort of a gnarly problem, which, listen, this, this is just scratching the surface of the kind of complexity that guys like Chief and Mark and Jeff had to you know, push through and then uh, Egg was screaming down from his cabin up north um, before he was able to kind of get everything stabilized. That kind of thing cannot happen unless people know each other, trust each other, work with each other outside of the routine stuff, okay? So the more that we can do this year after year, I'll keep pushing this for as long as I can. All right, Chief? I think you've covered it all, so I'll be very brief, man, a few words, but thank you for coming out. Uh, please utilize the scholarship. This is for you. This today is just great. Meeting each other like this, uh, it's gonna make it a lot easier at two, three in the morning when we have those complex scenes and we're working together. So I appreciate everybody being here. Blitz family, thank you. We miss him dearly, so thank you.